Today we're going to talk about how to stay in shape during the holidays, but also how to enjoy them. because we still want to have our Christmas cookies while looking our best, right? <laughs> Staying fit during the holidays is a little bit harder because, I don't know, I feel like you lack a little bit more motivation and you want to indulge more into sweet treats and you are super busy because you need to buy all of your Christmas presents, have Christmas preparations. <gasps> There's just a lot going on in the month of December and you also want to enjoy it and if you're like me, you have movies that you want to watch and just a million things that you want to do in December and it is always so short. Tip number one is to stay active daily. That doesn't always have to mean that you have to go to the gym. You can also do home workouts. I don't know, for the longest time I felt like home workouts are not real workouts. But honestly, I came to enjoy home workouts so much more. I mean, after doing them, you know, for months and months and months and months during lockdown, where I absolutely hated them. I think they're an amazing alternative if you don't have the time to go to the gym. Because you can also do a quick hit workout. You can do an ab workout. It doesn't have to be an hour. It can be 30 minutes you can also be more active during the day go on a walk i personally i have my dog bowie so we're going on walks making sure that you're getting the steps in if you have walkable destinations you can walk instead of taking the car even though it is very cold at the moment but you know I mean, you can do that basic tips like taking the stairs instead of the elevator and stuff like that just try to be active number two is to plan your workouts on top of all of the responsibilities that you have school work See where you can still fit in your workouts and in which time of the day you can fit in that workout. Can you work out in the morning? Can you work out late at night? Make sure that you have your gym clothes ready, that you lay them out if you work out first thing in the morning, the night before, and if you work out after school or after work, that you have your gym bag with you, that you don't have to go home and be tempted to just lay on the couch and watch a Christmas movie. If you need some early morning motivation, I just posted my early morning leg day video if you missed it on the vlogmas day one. Number three is mindful eating. I've been practicing this so much in the past year because I was always so confused on how to balance eating healthy but also having my favorite food. And what I do now is that I just listen more to my body. If I crave healthy food, and I think if you have been eating healthy for a while, you do crave healthy food, you don't want to eat unhealthy all the time. Because if I eat unhealthy, I usually don't feel good and I want to, I mean, feel good. It was amazing, you know, but then I want to go back to my healthy things again. I listen to my body, what it wants, eat until I'm full. And if I want to indulge into something, I'm going to have that. If I want to have a cookie, I'm going to have that. I have this little star cinnamon biscuits that I buy from Aldi and oh my gosh they're so good. Just have a little bit more chocolate than usual. I don't always crave chocolate so if I don't crave it I just don't eat it. If I crave it I eat it. <laughs> I personally always like to meal prep that keeps me on track. I have a few meal prepping videos if you want to watch that but you can also just really plan your food that you want to eat throughout the week and if you know you're gonna eat a little bit more unhealthy during the weekend you can make during the week even more healthy also when you're eating unhealthy you can still do portion control eat until you're full you can go for healthier options if you go to a restaurant drinking enough water or tea or coffee because then i feel like i am not as hungry or i don't crave sweet things also eating enough protein and eating nutritious meals that are full of protein carbs and fats i get less cravings if i do that also if i am in a cut or if i want to lose weight i get more hungry and i crave more but if i eat at a maintenance level and i eat normal food i usually do not get a lot of cravings something that i like to do in the evening because i sometimes like to have sweets in the evening but sometimes i'm like okay i'm gonna have a protein yogurt with some fruit you can also add a little bit of lotus biscuits or lotus spread if you want it a little bit you know sweet if i had my yogurt and i still crave something sweet or i'm still hungry after that i can have that but usually i am satisfied after my yogurt so this is a trick that i like to do in the evening when the sweet cravings are coming up number four is to balance treats and nutrition like i just mentioned i have my healthy greek yogurt but i still add my lotus spread where there is a lot of sugar in there but i really enjoy it you can also go for healthy swaps for example if you're like me and you love having your toffee nut latte um, you can go for a different milk you can go for less 
syrup. If you really do like sour cream, you can make your own sour cream with Greek yogurt. I have this protein smoothie that I just made in my early morning leg day. This tastes like a Christmas cookie in a smoothie and I love it so much. It is healthy, it is filling, nutritious and I have this every morning. I love it so much. You need to find your own balance on how much of your healthy food do you want to eat and how much of your indulgence food do you want to eat. And I feel like everyone is very different here. Some people like to have a little bit of indulgence every day and some people eat healthy throughout the week and then do that on the weekend I personally like to eat healthy during the week really hold myself accountable and then have the treats reserved for my weekend number five is to set realistic goals depending on how busy your schedule is depending on what your plans are during the holidays is you don't have to be on a weight loss journey right now. You can just eat healthy and go to the gym. You don't have to go to the gym four or five times a week, maybe only go two or three times a week. Make sure that you still have your progress, make sure that you're still working out and eating healthy, but you don't have to do it to the absolute maximum. You don't have to do new PRs at the gym, you don't have to overdo your workouts at the gym. Just move your body and eat healthy during the entire month is so much more than being like either I'm just gonna eat healthy and I'm gonna work out all the time and I'm not gonna indulge in anything which is not gonna make you very happy or the other extreme which is gonna be I'm not working out the entire month and I'm just eating not so good food the entire month which is not gonna make you feel good the balance it is all about it all comes back to the balance and tip number six is to involve loved ones if you already have a super busy schedule maybe you can go on walks with your friends with your family which makes it also like a family activity and you're staying active or you're going to the gym with a friend or you're going to the gym with your boyfriend involve other people into your daily active activities <laughs> you can also go on winter hikes you can go skiing if these are things that you do i personally don't but you know how i approach the month of december is like i mentioned it i pretty much eat healthy during the week and then i have my treats during the weekend i have definitely more christmas cookies or christmas desserts during the month of December. I love my gingerbread cookies or other cookies that are around. I love a good chocolate or a chocolate advent calendar, Christmassy chocolates. When it comes to working out, I also try to see how busy my week is and then schedule in my workouts. When it comes to Christmas itself, like the Christmas days, I don't restrict myself at all, okay? I'm visiting family usually on the 24th, on the 25th and the 26th. I just eat, okay? <laughs> and I overeat, okay? I, I don't stop when I'm full because the food is gonna be amazing <laughs> and I'm gonna eat probably until I'm, I'm way too full. But it happens and it's fine. I personally don't work out during Christmas and New Year's because I don't want to. I usually like to take a break from the 24th until the 2nd of January. I'm not so strict with it. I, I take a few few days off from the gym during that time and make sure to spend time with my family, spend time with my boyfriend because he's gonna be home, not working. Just enjoy the time. Also enjoy time with my dog Bowie. I wanna go on some winter walks. I hope it's gonna be snowing. This is how I approach December and the Christmas holidays. And I'm also gonna share my whole December pretty much on YouTube because I'm gonna be posting every second day. So there are gonna be a lot of workout videos and food videos coming your way. Don't stress out during this month to be super perfect to be super on track with your fitness and nutrition goals because we all are going to be indulging a little bit more and then going back to our super 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 motivated goals in January. <laughs> Consistency over time means more than a few days of indulgence so especially around Christmas like I said I take the time off I eat whatever I want nothing happens to your body you're not gonna gain weight obviously if you step on a scale you're gonna gain weight so that's why I just don't weigh myself after Christmas or around Christmas you're gonna feel bloated you're not gonna feel your absolute best but I want to assure you it's gonna be back to normal in a few days you just <laughs> just enjoy that week from Christmas to New Year's and then you can go back with your fitness goals go back to the gym go back to eating healthy and you will see the bloating will go away you will not have gained any weight in that short amount of time and you still enjoyed good food with your family and your friends. I almost wished you a Merry Christmas that I was like oh my gosh we're only on the second day of Vlogmas. <laughs> 
Um, but if you're watching this right before Christmas or on the 24th or something, I wish you a Merry Christmas. This is my approach and my tips on how you can stay on track with your fitness goals, but also indulge in your treats and enjoy your holidays. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more workout videos and food videos during the month of December. Leave me a comment, share this video with someone if you think it was helpful. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see my next video, which is in two days for another Vlogmas videos.